Welcome back to the channel. I'm Richard and this is Lap of the World. I uh, got Liz riding shotgun with me uh, <laughs> off, off camera, but uh, we are headed over to uh, grab a little bit of uh, coffee at lunch and then get an alignment check at a uh, local tire barn. Uh, again, I kind of, you know, right now I suspect everything is okay. Uh, the car tracks pretty straight and uh, it's not wandering anywhere, but it's a free service they perform, which I distinctly appreciate of them. Uh, and I did have parts of the suspension apart uh, to replace the, uh, when I was, because I was doing the uh, CV alignment, so I had the rear half shaft off. And because I had things apart and then put them back together, even though I realigned my match marks, there is some potential that the, you know, you know, if I didn't get the bolts perfectly centered in the holes or things like that, things could be a millimeter or so off here and there which can make enough of a difference in the geometry to cause problems long term with tire wear um, or in extreme handling situations and which is kind of a thing i do uh, but that's what we were doing right now we we're on the way to tire barn we will uh, pick you up when we get there and then let you know how it turns out while liz is in getting her coffee fix i just wanted to clarify that this video is in no way sponsored by or affiliated with tire barn just this particular um, location has done right by me in the past, so I don't mind going there again. Back in the garage, we have uh, thoroughly caffeinated the wife and uh, actually aligned the car a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I ended up actually having them make a couple of changes. We ran into some time constraints, uh, so I didn't do a whole lot more filming or discourse on location. Uh, this was kind of a lunch out and back trip, and then having to actually a lot time in there for them to actually make the changes that I didn't anticipate them needing to make. Uh, <laughs> then I had to kind of, kind of, you know, come back and jump immediately on a, uh, a meeting for actual work that I actually get paid for. <laughs> Please subscribe. But, uh, <laughs> so I wanted to go uh, follow, kind of have a, a quick download though after the fact. Again, video not sponsored by Tire Barn, but I do want to give them a big thanks. I know a couple of guys actually subscribed to the channel after they saw the decals in my car. I distinctly appreciate that, and I thank you for the very quick, efficient uh, <laughs> alignment service today. That was a uh, great work all around, and uh, nice talking to a couple of you. But... I will show you kind of where we started and where we left off with the changes we ended up making. Uh, a quick, uh, so why did I need to actually make changes? Well, it kind of confirmed a couple of suspicions that I had. Uh, one, that it seems inevitably anytime I take something apart and put it back together, I tried to make the most, you know, as precise match marks as I could this time. I put the car back. Again, it felt fine to drive around, but the rear toe, especially the right rear, was definitely a little bit off. Uh, also, the front toe was way off, uh, and that kind of did confirm a suspicion that I could not remember. Uh, if you, Some of you will remember many, many moons ago at this point, probably back towards the beginning of the year, maybe even late 2020, I did a video where I had uh, isolated a clunking to the front uh, inner tie rods. There's washers missing between the tie rod and the steering rack. I replaced those washers, and in doing so, that added some measure of thickness behind the center line of the front wheels, which resulted in them being towed in a little bit. This is the direction the cargo towed in a little bit. And uh, that 
I, I think was what was contributing a lot to the kind of funny steering feel that I was picking up post, uh, you know, in these first couple of shakedown drives. Um, and I, I kind of wanted to validate whether it was an alignment issue or something else, <laughs> which I am going to touch on in a future video uh, once I kind of have a, I don't know, final validation on if and or how well the thing I'm going to talk about actually worked. Um, <laughs> sorry to be vague there, but I don't want to push anybody under the bus yet or uh, give any feedback that is not uh, not been thoroughly vetted and thoroughly tested. So, uh, but with that said, I'll kind of show you where we ended up. So again, with the right rear, a little bit off on the toe, uh, on the one side in particular, and then in the front, the toe was way off, it was towed in instead of, usually with the NSX, I like a fractionally to be, uh, fractionally towed out, gives you a little bit more responsive turn in, and indeed it did help. Uh, post alignment, everything uh, on the front end matched up perfectly. The rear, I, the rear is exactly where I told them to put it. <laughs> and I do appreciate that because uh, you know they will. Uh, at least this location has technicians that are savvy enough that they can do the weird alignment stuff if you ask them too nicely. Uh, so it's a little bit towed in. It's probably a little bit more towed in than I would want to run on a long-term basis uh, because, uh, as you may or may not know, the toe setting in the rear is directly related to your tire wear. Uh, now, having the rear towed in makes the car more stable at high speed, which is great, uh, but having any additional toe in beyond what's necessary to achieve that stability exacerbates the already kind of uh, disproportionate tire wear on the rear versus the front uh, that is the NSX is somewhat notorious for. And I think that was probably part of what led to the original Ye, if you OG NSX owners or NSX historians might remember that there was a lot of uh, gnashing of teeth and crying of foul early in the car's life because it had a particularly aggressive uh, toe setting in the rear intended for performance driving and particularly soft for the time compound uh, tires all around to again uh, you know help with performance and so it would go through rear you know a set of rear tires and you know, three to 5,000 miles, even with kind of casual use because of the toe settings. Uh, my car, again, I've gotten with the Falcon Azenas RT 615K pluses that have been running on the car recently. I have gotten now, I think I've gone through three sets of those and I've gotten about 10 to 12,000 miles out of the rears, including track use. So, <laughs> you know, and that's usually going with kind of a very minimal but fractionally towed in uh, rear setting. But again, uh, that's kind of where we got it for now. Uh, I, I hopefully I've stuck these up on the screen so you can follow along. But uh, yeah, so we seem to be good on the alignment, at least for the moment, for some kind of uh, additional local driving to validate that my own work is solid. That's looking better by the day, but want to get a few more kind of longer trips and maybe some regional out and back uh, in here before I go sign up for a track day all the way across the country or down in Florida or up in the Northeast or wherever it is I'm gonna head next. Uh, but if you want to keep track of where I am going to head next and uh, kind of continue to follow along on the car's journey as well as mine to drive as many racetracks as we can, don't forget to click subscribe down below and look forward to those videos. But until that happens, I'm Richard, this is Lap of the World, and I will see you guys all in the next video, if not at the track.